Animal Styles of Kung Fu. Written and narrated by me, Andrew Mencher. Kung Fu is a Chinese martial art that dates back to over 4,000 years ago. Although it is used for self-defense, students are encouraged to avoid conflict and seek peace. There are many styles of Kung Fu, and they all embrace principles of discipline, self-control, respect, and patience. Many of these styles are inspired by various animals where students mimic their traits, movements, and behaviors. Practicing animal styles sparks the imagination to express your true spirit and embark on an exciting journey of self-discovery. Elephant Style Elephants portray strength, wisdom, and longevity in Chinese culture. They are not only powerful animals, but their majestic movements have provided the inspiration to create the elephant style. Legend says that soldiers during the Song Dynasty were taught to use it as an effective form of close combat. Today, it is considered a rare style, but there are still a good amount of students who practice the forms. There are forearm blocks and elbow strikes that act like tusks, strongly rooted stances, and trunk-like attacks that will make students feel as unstoppable as a charging elephant. Monkey Style Known for the agility and acrobatics of monkeys, monkey style kung fu is unpredictable and highly dynamic. It is a fun and playful style that encourages creativity and teaches students how to use their natural instincts and outsmart opponents. Monkey style makes clever use of props such as staffs, ropes, and even banana peels for training routines. It is a versatile form with techniques that range from lightning fast strikes to ground-based tactics and even flips. Chinese folklore tells us of the legendary Monkey King who used it to overcome any challenge. Tiger Style The mighty tiger is one of the most fearless animals in the world. They exhibit a strength and ferocity that is the key to Tiger Style Kung Fu. It takes many hours of intense training to master the style. This involves footwork drills and conditioning of the hands to deliver vicious claw strikes. Loud calls and thunderous roars are often used to intimidate opponents. Since tigers are dominant in nature, students are encouraged to study the philosophy of tiger-style kung fu. They must be courageous and learn how to unleash their inner spirit and the mindset of a warrior. Crane Style There is a lot of elegance in Kung Fu, especially within the crane style. Students learn how to cultivate their inner energy, known as Qi, with breathing exercises, meditation, and focused concentration. This aspect adds the element of grace and offers a deep connection to nature. The finesse and precision of cranes can be observed with techniques such as beak strikes and feather step footwork. The style also emphasizes balance and stability that is visible in every action. Each training session gives students a sense of moving as a feather floating in the wind. Bear Style Everyone knows that bears are very strong and powerful animals, but they also add a spiritual quality that is essential to Kung Fu. By connecting the mind and body, students are able to achieve balance and unity in their martial arts practice as well as in their daily lives. Bear style is deeply rooted in teaching core values and the importance of integrity. Bear style Kung Fu focuses on long-range techniques, close-range combat, 
and puts a lot of emphasis on wrestling, ground fighting, and the art of joint locking, known as chinna. These bone-crushing holds integrate seamlessly with striking and grappling to neutralize an opponent. This style offers a unique approach in pursuit of mastery. Dragon Style Inspired by the mythical creature, Dragon Style Kung Fu combines the tactics and movements of the other four traditional animal styles. The smooth, flowing motions of spiraling and twisting are used heavily in the forms like an expressive dance. Experts have the ability to both astonish audiences and easily tame opponents. Dragon style is very fiery, using a variety of strikes, kicks, sweeps, joint locks, and throws. It takes many years of study and consistent practice, but students will feel confident that they have the skill set to handle any combative situation. The fluidity of Dragon Style Kung Fu makes it one of the most captivating martial arts in the world. Snake Style When students are trained in the way of the snake, they are taught to be deceptive and venomous. The toxic poison hand technique demonstrates this behavior perfectly. It simulates the accuracy and debilitating effect of a snake bite. When combined with joint locks, enemies will be immobilized. Breath control is also an important aspect of snake style. Practitioners can maximize their speed and power just by synchronizing their breath and movements. This is one of the best styles for mastering the art of deception, sharpening focus, and unlocking the ancient secrets of martial arts. Leopard Style The leopard style of Kung Fu has a rich heritage found in southern Chinese martial arts. The Shaolin Temple of the South is believed to have had the most influence on the leopard style, especially for its leopard fish strikes used to target the throat and eyes, and the cat stance poised and ready to pounce on any adversary. Leopard style is deeply rooted in the Chinese philosophy of yin and yang. This concept gives students a strong sense of harmony between aggression and composure. It leads to gaining self-awareness and adaptability to new environments, which makes the leopard style much more than just a martial art. Horse style the foundational element in Kung Fu is the horse stance. This is the very first lesson taught to beginners to help build leg strength and stability. The horse stance is the base of which all Kung Fu moves are built upon. By mastering the basics, students will be able to advance quickly in rank and learn some very intricate forms. The horse style hand form is a unique form of Kung Fu found in Choi Le Foot. It teaches students some interesting techniques such as White Horse tunes his hoof, Heavenly Horse flying in the sky, and Wild Horse chasing the bull. These vital movements combine footwork, kicks, and punches to deliver an impressive amount of horsepower. Eagle Style Eagle Style, or Eagle Claw Kung Fu, is a vigorous form of martial arts that relies heavily on gripping techniques. Its signature move is the Eagle Claw Grip, which is intended to imitate the lethal talons of an eagle to grab and control an opponent. This proves especially useful on pressure points. Eagle Claw Kung Fu has a rich history that traces back many centuries. It was originally only taught to monks, but by the time of the Song Dynasty around the year 1100, General Yu Fui 
trained his military to use it in combat. Today, the style is practiced by many people around the world. Mantis Style The aim of any martial art is to fuse the mind, body, and spirit as one unit to heighten awareness and move with purpose. This concept is what makes Mantis Style Kung Fu a complete system. With dedication, students can achieve optimal performance in their abilities, enabling them to embody the true essence of Kung Fu mastery. There are several variants of Mantis Style. All of them utilize circular motions to redirect an opponent and use their own energy against them. Sticky hand drills teach students how to sense and respond to subtle changes in force. This results in trapping and disabling an attacker. By emulating an insect, every action is executed with aim and intent. Fish Style Fish Style Kung Fu is more of a legend rather than a true form of martial art. However, practitioners who observe the movements of fish can increase their speed and efficiency in their own martial arts. If you have ever fed and watched koi fish in a pond, this idea becomes very clear. Chinese folklore speaks of a renowned martial arts master who developed the style. His name is Zhang Sanfeng, and he is also credited for inventing Tai Chi. If there is any truth in the stories of fish style kung fu, it would be evident in the movements of Tai Chi, which are all inspired by nature. Thank you for listening to my book about animal styles of kung fu. Visit me at www.kidslearnbooks.com. See you next time.